Today, our city is in mourning. We mourn the death of Nipsey Hussle, who was tragically murdered in his own neighborhood, in front of his own store, businesses that he owned. We lost a big part of L South LA yesterday, really the world, but Nipsey did a lot for this community. He did not leave here, you know, no matter how popular he got, no matter how well he did in his career, uh, in his businesses, he wanted it to stay right here. This is where he started it, as a matter of fact, when he was in high school, when he was 17, 18 years old, he used to sell his demo tapes right here on these corners. He wanted to improve this community, that's why he didn't leave. You know, a lot of people, you know, come out of here, they do well in sports, they do well in the entertainment business, and they do leave, you know, and they forget. But he didn't do that. He stayed right here. His grandmother is still local here, you know, and he took care of her, took care of his children's family. You know, this uh, this is really, really bad. That's every person's hope in this whole neighborhood. We want our friends and our family and our children to wake up and see something better than what they've been looking at. And on this corner, they were able to see him, see him make a way, make a way for others, find a way out itself. That's the kind of hope and encouragement we lost yesterday. He could have definitely went hit away, but he didn't. Unfortunately, it did. I feel like, you know, that's what got him killed, but, what, you know, it's just powerful. Like, no one does that. Everyone gets money and then they go hide. And that man stood in front of his people and helped us come together. And, and it just sucks that some, somebody had to take him away from us because it was so much more he could have did. He was only 33 years old. So he could have just did a lot more for our community. Yeah.